How in the world could you take a terrible show like The View and actually make it worse? Well, it's super easy. You just take Rachel Maddow and put her on the panel. And that is exactly what we're going to see today. The liberal hypocrisy exposed in all of its glory. Now, let's go ahead and check this out. Before we get to it, please like and comment on this video so we can break through the algorithms. Here we go. So you said recently that you thought that you, as an outspoken critic, could be a target yourself. Some people think that sounds overdramatic, but I'm right there with you. I think that he is so um, vindictive yeah. that he will go after, however he has to, through the IRS, maybe, uh, or even, uh, you know, or through sponsors to get us off the air, maybe, and, or you. Yeah. Um, how seriously should we be taking that? Well... Uh, so I was asked, am I worried about me? And my answer was, I'm worried about all of us. I'm no, yeah. no more worried about me than I am worried about everybody in the right. country. Yeah. I think it's bad to have somebody saying, give me as much power as you can in this country so I can use it to go after other Americans. So I can yeah. use it to go after these yeah. subhuman internal enemies and I'll yeah. destroy them. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's just not a good system for anybody. And I don't think anybody's safe if that's the sort of basis on which he wants to get more well, power. Well, remember when Nixon had an enemies list? That was a proud moment for a lot of people if they were on the enemies yes. list. Maybe we need to turn it around like that. Well, I don't, I mean, I think that if he decides that he's going to go after you or, or me or anybody who's well known, um, you know, we have resources, we'll, be, we're, we'll likely be fine. But the, I, I think there's a pattern where he picks out individual people mm -hmm. and effectively terrorizes them. Yes. But he, yeah, I mean, there's yeah, Stormy yeah. Daniels wearing a bulletproof vest to yeah. get yeah. into it's the courthouse, when, right? Once you have political violence, you have fascism following that. Now, I know that Joy Behar is not the brightest bulb in the bunch, but surely she can remember back to Barack Obama's presidency where his IRS was actually targeting certain conservative people. And also, don't forget, they denied tax-exempt status to groups that had... Tea Party or Patriot in their names because they may have hurt the efforts of Barack Obama to get re-elected, all right? So don't worry about any of that actual history that was going on. And also, what if Trump decides to go after our sponsors and get shows like The View canceled, all right? Well, are you ignoring Media Matters, an organization whose sole purpose is to go after the sponsors of conservative organizations so they can no longer function and go out of business, right? So yes, major hypocrisy going on there. And of course, also she mentions political violence. As soon as you have political violence, then you have fascism and it's over, right? Democracy is dead. Well, what about the Antifa and BLM riots that happened at the behest of the left for months, causing billions of dollars of damage, burning down buildings, and yes, murdering people, all right? All of that happened under the watch and approval, basically, of the left. Remember those leftist mayors and governors who were saying, oh, we have to go ahead and give them room to be upset, room to riot, right? They have to express their rage and their anger. But of course, they'll say, oh, this is nothing compared to January 6th. Okay, January 6th, with possible FBI plants in the crowd egging on certain people, was nothing in comparison comparison to all of that craziness from the summer of love. But because January 6th happened in close proximity to our precious politicians, oh, clearly this was the worst thing to happen ever. Uh, you and I share the belief that Donald Trump's a threat to democracy, our institutions. I don't know that the stakes have been this high in modern history in a presidential election. Yet, I'm skeptical of polls. We all are. He can, Trump continues to outperform Biden in key battleground states. Is the, there a world in which Democrats should have a backup plan for Joe, Joe Biden? A backup plan? Uh, if he like, needed to be replaced on the ticket. If we're three months out and Trump's still beating him in Michigan, Pennsylvania, Georgia, Arizona, North Carolina. I mean, I, I think the backup plan is run a better campaign, right? Yes. I, I just, I don't, there's no reason that Joe, I mean, Joe Biden's record as a president yeah. is a very, very strong record. I mean, we are, are, we are the economic envy of the world. Right. Doesn't mean our economy is perfect, but literally we are the envy of the world. We've got a better situation mm -hmm. than anybody. We've got unemployment rates that we haven't seen in generations. We've got economic growth that any major country in the world would kill for. Yeah, but that's not and the information wait, wait, that they're wait, getting. On wait, 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 wait. But it's true. And so Biden doesn't, Biden, Biden hasn't been disqualified from running for the presidency yeah. by anything having to do with any of his performance. It's just that it's going to be a tough fight. Yeah. And so I think the backup plan is fight harder. Yeah. The backup plan is make sure you win the Senate. The backup plan is mm. people should volunteer earlier mm -hmm. and do more and give more money and do all of those things. And there's no reason, I think, to have it be 
the, the, there'd be this fantasy that Biden's not the president and that right. Biden isn't the nominee. He is and he's going to be. And I yeah. think that's that's a fixed variable. Before we continue, I want to mention that Joe Biden, of course, is causing massive inflation and devaluation of our currency. So what can you do to protect your investments? You can go to Genesis Gold Group and turn your 401k or IRA into a gold backed retirement account. To do this, all you have to do is go to angryteachergold.com or call 1-800-200-4653 and get yourself back on the gold standard. Let's get back to it. Notice the line of reasoning between this segment and the last segment. All of this is kind of assuming that Trump is going to win. Now, why in the world would they think this? Because Biden is not in a very good position. The polling, as was rightly pointed out, Trump is still up, right? You have the aggregates, you have the swing states. Trump is still doing very well, despite the 34 <laughs> convictions, okay? So, of course, we're asked... What's the backup plan, right? Are they going to replace Biden? And of course, this is something that's becoming even more mainstream among leftists as well. Are we going to replace Biden? He seems so weak and ineffectual. We got to get rid of him. Otherwise, Donald Trump could win. But of course, Rachel Maddow says, nah, he's going to be the nominee. That's pretty much a fixed variable. And I hope it is, Rachel. I hope it is. But she says America is actually doing very well. Joe Biden has a lot to brag about. And even though a lot of these numbers from the White House, which are definitely fudged, say one story, the Americans are living a different story, right? With the economy, everyone acknowledges that yes, it's not in good shape. But if you talk to the left, all they're saying is everything is perfect. We're on the mend. Inflation is down. Unemployment is down. Jobs are up. Wages are up. Everything is fine. Please don't believe the reality you are living. And of course, that makes no sense whatsoever to your average American, which is why Donald Trump is still doing so well. But of course, what's the solution for all of this for Joe Biden? It's basically to run a better campaign, right? Not try to actually secure our border, not to try to actually lower taxes, not try to actually lower inflation, right? Don't do any of that stuff. No, just run a better campaign and the American people will reward you for that. So all of this, of course, is very ridiculous. And the view, of course... You can't take them serious because they have hot takes like this. And Rachel Maddow, of course, is just as delusional as all of them. So as usual, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and stay safe out there, people, because they're coming after you.